Not everybody's going to be a great champion. World champion, tag team champion, mid-card champion. You know, some are more successful than others. That's the way it is. In church, certainly. You can have subjective opinions about what you like or what you prefer and what you think makes a great champion. That's all fine and good. But I'm sorry, but from where I'm sitting, AEW's got a couple of just flat-out shitty champions. Absolutely terrible champions, horrendous champions that sure the bingo hall crowd, the match and move Meltzer marks beat off to, but they don't do anything good. They suck. They absolutely suck. And when you look at champions that absolutely suck, I don't know how you can't look at AEW right now and think that the Bucks of Suck, the Young Bucks, and Kenny Omega are good champions. They're terrible. They're absolutely god-awful. Here's what I don't understand. You have a long history in wrestling of people in positions of power, bookers, owners of territories, that would book themselves on the top and consistently book themselves on the top and do Memphis mid-card piece of crap things, just as one example. But you know what they would do when they were in charge? They would actually build the show around them. They would actually make sure that they took care of themselves first and foremost. The Dusty Roses of the world, the Ric Flairs of the world, and you could go on and on, the Vern Gagne's of the world. They would make sure that they were featured in hot stories or attempt to build hot stories. They would be in a situation where they were presented as at least one of the most important things on the show consistently and typically a lot of times the most important part of the show. But they knew how to treat themselves. When I look at Kenny Omega and I look at the Bucks of Suck, I see guys that are executives within AEW. These are some of the EVPs. How in the hell do they not know how to book themselves right, let alone everybody else or anybody else? Like, how stupid do you have to be that you can't even book yourself right? You're in charge. You're calling the shots. And you're the world champion, Kenny Omega? And this, this is what the hell you've got yourself doing? The Young Bucks. You're the shot callers. You're in charge. And this, this, this is what you do when you finally become tag team champions of AEW? What the fuck is going on here? Marks that don't know how to produce consistently solid and continuous wrestling television. That is clear because the shit with both of them, all of them, excuse me, all three of them, is so goddamn schizophrenic and all over the place from one week to the next. Like, let's look at Kenny Omega first. What possible argument could you make that he has been anything other than by far, by far, the worst of the AEW world champions to date? I know you don't have a ton of them, so the list is kind of small. But he is light years behind a Chris Jericho, light years more behind a John Moxley. And this dumb son of a bitch is one of the guys in charge, is he not? He's more concerned with sitting there and playing out this stupid promotional sharing crap with Impact Wrestling like that's a thing to be proud of, like anybody gives a crap. Your world champion who's supposed to be the top guy, who is supposed to be the dude, the alpha, that so many of you told me for years about how great he was. Now I look at you for the past year plus and I say, what the fuck were you smoking? You lose any and all credibility because he's a turd Ferguson. He's a joke. And now you put the world strap on him and consistently week over week, you're waiting an hour hour and a half, maybe till the very end of the show 
for any real reference or mention of Kenny Omega yet actually having him do anything. And if he does run in at the end of the show, he's getting knocked down quickly. Or otherwise you're doing some dumb vignette crap with Don Callis that ultimately builds up to nothing. Like, I don't care how much of a fan you are of Kenny Omega. You can't be that disconnected from reality to look at what they're doing with him at world champion and as a result, what he's doing himself as world champion and objectively think this is any fucking good. How in the hell could you? Have your standards dropped that low? Do you literally, really, truly only care about beating off to the moves and the matches? Is that all it is? And the bucks have suck. These flippy floppy fucks. Like so many of you have sat there and begged goo goo ga ga giggly tits about them for a decade plus. Now these freaking overrated ass jabronis sit there and put the belts on themselves finally. And I say finally because they were the one tag team with real recognition at the beginning of the company. They should have been the first ones. But now I see why they weren't. Because they don't know what the hell they're doing. From one week to the next, you're trying to figure out what's the story here? What are they involved in? Are they more concerned about trying to put over Impact Wrestling, a show that a fraction of AEW's wa audience actually watches? Or are you actually trying to put over your own talent, your own belt, and your own goddamn show and company? Like these assholes flipping from heel to face. They're like the midget team version of the big show. And again, tag team champions who have made their name doing the flippy floppy crap that a lot of you like, they're hardly even wrestling now. And if they do, it's in some dumbass schmoz match like it always is that has no purpose, that has no story, has nothing. But that's typical bucks of suck behavior. They've only seen it for the freaking past decade plus. So why the hell would they change it now? I mean, that's really remedial when you can't even book yourself right. If you were booking yourself to the moon and you were throwing everybody else under the bus, at least you would say you were doing something competently. Not correctly, but competently. And there's a large part of this that is they're afraid of the stigma of the Memphis Midcard piece of crap and the gods of the world and so forth. They don't want to be viewed as, well, you're only the champion because you're one of the EVPs. Like, fans are going to say shit no matter what, so fuck them. Do what is best for business. But what's not best for business is to put the belt on yourself or have the belt be put on you, however you want to look at it, and then never appear on television. And when you are wrestling matches, you're sitting there having to struggle with guys that are two or three steps way below you on the ladder. Like Kenny Omega, no offense to you, match or move, Mark. You're freaking ridiculous if you think that he should be struggling to beat a guy like Phoenix. Who the hell is Phoenix? This is your damn world champion. And for a company like AEW, who hasn't hot-shotted or hot-potatoed this belt a ton, that actually kind of means something. So you should make your champion mean something. Jericho, as the first champion, meant something. It made sense why you put the title on. A lot of you wanted probably Hangman Page. Well, look at where we're at now. I'm sure as hell glad they didn't put the belt on Hangman Page. And then Moxley. And he took it and he ran with it for a while. Like, those two acted like, felt like, came across like world champions, like big deals, like top of the card type of guys. Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega feels like a crappy ass version of a US champion on Raw. There's no story, there's nothing happening, he's barely featured. When he is, it's usually stupid, he's got this Dumbass look on his face. Like, I could go on and on and on. And same thing for the Bucks that suck. You got 300 bajillion damn tag teams. And the Young Bucks, instead of going out there and doing the thing that people know them most for, which is their matches, they're doing all this other dumb shit that isn't accomplishing anything that is stupid. If you are in a position of power and you cannot book yourself well, let alone anybody else, you are fundamentally stupid. 
You are the markiest of marks out there and that's coming from the guy that's making the video on YouTube talking about it and from a couple of thousand people probably that watch this video that would actually agree with me. Now, I know I'm going to have the ding-dongs with their flaming keyboard fingers of fire blasting away. What the bluest of blue fucks are you thinking, guys? Do you really tune in to Dynamite each and every single week and think what you're seeing with Kenny Omega is good? Like, really? Do you really? You can be a fan of somebody and acknowledge and accept when something that they're involved in sucks. Nobody's going to bat a thousand. You're going to have hits. You're going to have misses. And this world title reign for Kenny Omega has been one colossal freaking giant turd of a miss. Prove me wrong. You know you can't. And then the whole young bucks, the bucks have sucked. My good God almighty. Like there are people that think that these guys are cool. There are people that think that that version of trash ass wrestling is what's with it today. And of course it doesn't help when their biggest butt buddy of all, Mr. Meltzer Magoo, is sitting there always trying to make excuses for him, always trying to defend for him. We're the business to change, the business to change. And that's why a lot fewer people are watching, Dave, you dumbass! Because you got marks walking around with the fucking titles, not even knowing how to book their damn selves because they're fucking marks for themselves. They're marks for their own stupidity and their own bullshit. They're inside jokes that don't connect, that aren't funny, that don't help anything. You can see it week over week. You never have any type of idea what these guys or these assholes are doing, whether it's the Bucks, whether it's Omega, whatever. And it's not because you've got great suspense or they're sitting there and making you really wonder, it's because they don't fucking know. And it's clear when you watch Dynamite each and every single week, that's exactly what it is. Like, if you can't book yourself to be a credible champion, then you need to take the titles back off of yourself and put it on somebody else that can actually get the job done. Because newsflash, Kenny Omega sure as hell ain't getting the job done. And I would hope to God that that belt is off of him before the next pay-per-view. But I doubt it is because Tony Khan's going around on Impact Wrestling every week and cutting some of the drunkest looking, stupidest ass promos imaginable. Your dad is a freaking multi-billionaire. If you're going to be playing in this playground, can you take some promo school classes? Could you take some acting classes, Mr. Khan, please? Because every time I see one of these promos come across like i saw it this week and this was even worse the one i saw on twitter this week compared to other weeks all i want to say is come kenny omega is a terrible world champion everybody needs to realize that now the bucks of suck are god-awful horrendous tag team champs they've got the belt sitting around them they're freaking wasting and I know what you're going to say. Well, they're building up to something between them and the Good Brothers. And it's all Bullet Club bullshit. And that's all too sweet. No, it's not. It's guys ripping off shit from the past and trying to live off of the reputations and gimmicks that others did infinitely better with. That's what it is. Your Bullet Club is stupid. Ding dong dumb dicks. It's not Japan. That shit doesn't necessarily fly the same. Now, if you want to sit there and continue to dwindle away your audience and truly only have it being the hardest of hardcore fans that this garbage appeals to, then so be it. Because you will succeed and succeed very quickly. But these guys as champions are awful. I mean, you're in charge. And you suck at booking yourself. What the hell?